Okay, during your consolidation exam, you want to find your goodwill as quickly as possible. There's usually three phases to finding goodwill. First is to find the implied value of the sub at 100%. Second is to find the net book value of the sub. And third is to allocate your fair value differences. You can create a quick cheat table to know the signs for allocating your fair value differences. The acronym is USA and then followed by a plus sign because the USA flag has a star, has stars in its flags, and then all the other signs are opposite to each other. So plus, minus, uh, minus, plus. Let's say the given information is parent purchases 80% of the sub for $100 paying by cash. On the date of acquisition, the sub had pre-existing goodwill of $10, it had retained earnings of $20, and it had common shares of $40. Uh, and then book value versus fair market value, its accounts receivable was overstated by $15, and accounts payable was overstated by $60. Let's start with finding the implied value of the sub at 100%. So acquisition cost of the sub was at, at 80% was $100. We'll find the implied value at 100%. So we'll take 100 divided by 0 0.8 to get 125. Because when a parent controls the sub, it's assumed that we, we own 100% of it. And then the second phase is to find the net book value of the sub. Net book value consists of retained earnings, the common shares, and we also have to remove pre-existing goodwill. So pre-existing goodwill was $10. Uh, retained earnings was $20. And common shares was $40. $24 to $60. So this gives us a net book value of $50. And then if we take the implied value of 125, and then we subtract the net book value of 50, we have an acquisition differential of 75. And then third phase is to find, is to allocate your fair value differences. And we can use this cheat table to quickly uh, identify what signs to put to which account. So for accounts receivable, the asset is an asset and it's, it was overstated by $15, therefore it's a negative sign. Overstated accounts receivable. Negative 15. And then we had an overstated, we had an overstated accounts payable, which is a liability. Overstated li liability is a plus sign, so we'll add 60. So 60 and negative 15 gives us 45. Fair value difference of 45. And then if we take acquisition differential of 75, and we minus the fair value difference of 45, it will give us the goodwill of 30. 